thing's on. Guys, it's been four days now. No one knows what's going on. No one knows where it comes from, but the sound, it's not stopping. There's been reports of people just leaving their homes, just not knowing what to do, being drawn to this thing, but why? The news report stopped two days ago. Um, since that time, everyone's just gone into hiding, waiting for a sign that it's safe to go out again. It's much louder than it's ever been. Okay, now, I thought about the intro, but I don't know how I cut now from the intro to the gameplay. Right, how about we just roll that gameplay? Whoa! Whoa, the music! And the looming presence of the Siren Head in the back right there, dude. Woof! It's a match I don't like, but it makes for a good horror game. What the heck is that? Oh! Yo! The menu alone is kind of terrifying. Look at him just standing there dormant. Where's your sirens, huh? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Siren Head. Now, I believe this to be the first Siren Head game which kind of passes past the concept. This game tries to give you a little bit of a storyline behind the Siren Head in this particular universe. Now, I'm just excited to experience that because we've never seen a game crafted around this guy to that extent. Plus, Siren Head is straight up popping up, so you already know. Oh, let's get this going, man. The ominousness to this menu alone is getting me hyped for this. Look, guys, like the video if you want more Siren Head things. Let's get it. So, school is over and my friends want me to go camping with them. Sounds like a pretty interesting night. You know, I've never been camping, guys, for real. I don't really like camping, but you know, my friend said, hey, Freddy, you never hang out with us. You are always at home playing Atari. Kid knows. Well, I did just get my driver's license. May as well go and have some fun. Hey, it's the first day of summer. South Point Meadows, here I come. That must be the uh, camping site that they're heading to, right, huh? Alright, so we go ahead and pull up. Dang, dude. Look, first of all, Hold up. Welcome to South Point Meadows. It's dark out here, so use G to use your flashlight and F to interact with objects. Don't shine your flashlight too long. It could irritate people or some things. Q and the A use to lean left and right. Also, use R to pink your next objective if you get lost. Got it. All right, so we drove out here to do some camping in the middle of the night in a dense forest, though. Whoa, looking like we came back from this way here. Woof. We've traveled quite far, guys. I see no light other than this billboard. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Welcome to South Point Meadows. Look at that, dude. Nice, beautiful scenic image right there. Got some tables, I guess if we wanna dine and take a chill before we head further. All right, do we turn the camera off or anything like that? Uh, hold up a second. I hear that. Um, do I wanna go to that? Flash on, turn off, dude. So, we come down to do some camping in this decrepit looking forest at possibly the worst time of the year, at least, man, this won't be helping your fear senses. No wonder you feel like something's watching you or stalking you right now. We just stop off the car right there. Look, the path is right here to be driven down, my guy. You could just keep driving. There ain't nothing out here to get us. So just ignore the trees crackling. It's all things blowing in the wind. That's all it is. Looking like we got some kind of radio mast right there. Do we want to head over to that or stick to the path? Kind of making me question, like, what should I really be doing here? I don't feel like I need the flashlight. Uh, nothing really is striking to me, which means that I gotta, you know, use anything to see my surroundings. I can see it just fine. All right, we can come up to this guy, but there's no real reason why. Okay, let's get back on the trail, guys. Losing the trail, that's probably the worst thing that can happen to us. All right, guys, I forgot how to ping, but it's getting kind of dark around here. Looks like the moonlight is barely shining through the trees. Okay, well, I can still somewhat see. Uh, can you guys, though? I'll brighten this up quite a bit so you guys can see the darker parts of the trail. You know, I want this experience to be good for you guys, as it is for me. Uh, okay, checking around. That's a campfire! So someone's stopping over there. Hey, Bobby! Freddy, are you guys there? Camp's looking kind of barren. Maybe they went off for a walk. Breaking news, a stranger from Wilma High School has gone missing in South Point Meadows. Officials say they are currently looking for them and may uh. take some time. Okay. One of them enjoyed camping and is a hunter, so if you find any missing campers here in South Point Meadows Park, uh -huh. please call the authorities immediately. Um, okay, that's kind of suspect. We just heard that coming from some kind of speakerphone. Is that- oh my god, wait. Hold up, use the seat to crouch. Use its ability to get into tight areas if you get stuck around short trees. Crouching can set you free. Wait, what? Is something nearby? I don't see anything, guys. I probably should go to the ranger's watchtower. I can probably get help there. Um, is anyone Hello? nearby, though, in here? We can't interact with that. Okay, so we have a point of interest right now. Ooh, we got a makeshift hammock by the looks of it. Or maybe they're catching rain. So what's that out there? It's just some... Legit, I thought that was like... <laughs> I thought that was a siren head crouching ready to, like, attack me or something. Guys, I'm gonna stay 
determined right now. Vondertail taught me anything. Yes! That's how you gotta be. Where could this ranger tower be, though? Is it along the path, perhaps? We checked that thing out and there was nothing of importance. Let's get a move on, guys. Let's, uh, keep our feet moving left and right. That's all we can kind of do in this situation. Just keep going into the dark. Guys, help me. I think we're screwed. I'm freaking out. You know, the setting of Siren Head being amongst the trees, it's... It's terrifying, man. Especially trees at this time in the season. Okay, so we've got split paths here, guys. We can go that way. There is something in the distance. We can follow the trail. You know what? Let's go a little bit off-road for a bit, guys. You see this? It's kind of leading somewhere. Again, everything feels kind... Oh, I spoke a little too soon. It's the more than one? It sounds like more than one, right? Oh, boy. Uh, where is this taking us? This don't look like where we need to be. Wait, it is! Look around, look around, look around. Okay, we're still good. It's just us in the park, right? Let's get in this tower. ASAP. Siren Head, you aren't using these stairs. You're too lanky, bud. There's a some kind of blinking beacon over there. Okay, let's get into it. Whoa, we can hear that thing screaming in the distance. Hold up. To equip the rifle, press the two key. Whoa, wait, we've got a gun? We can only hold one item at a time. Can we use this? Hold up. Looks like the radio tower is down. There should be a cellar or underground generator I can turn back on. Wait, this guy knows Later the lay of the land. Okay. Officials believe that the body that was found is uh -huh. that of John Parker. One of the four missing friends Wait, from the local is it moving? School. They say his body was torn apart by some immense force. I have some Possibly hit that. This is freaking me out, dude. Ooh, okay. The gun? Yeah, it's coming out. So, don't you come any closer? I'll pop those speakers, right? Uh, nothing looks out of the ordinary still. But we have an objective. We gotta go to the basement, I think it said. Okay, let's take this easy. It's gone. Wait. Bro, that's so trippy. So it's not just playing like, you know, the usual siren sounds. It's almost like broadcasting radio signals. Oh, that's so creepy. It's like there's a crowd in the forest now. No, 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 no. There it is! Now that's what we know the siren head has. Do we go to it? Wait, wait. No way. There ain't no chance I'm leaving this place. I cannot go down there! We know siren head's lurking in this park. We just can't quite see him, dude. Let's scope in a bit. I don't see him. Again, the problem with all these trees looking dead too, man. You can't see him. Oh, where is it? What? I, I literally- I'm frozen stiff, guys. I can't leave the radio tower. I've completely messed up, guys. I'm on the ground. Holy crap. What is that? Press the right mouse button to look further away. Oh my god! I'm stuck! Dude, what the freak? Yo, he's bleeding! Oh my god! He ran away?! Dude, he was full on charging on us though, dude. Can we not get down here? See us? Crouch, crouch. Maybe he won't see us. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's in front. Does he see us? I think he does. Shoot him! Woo! Yeah, bleed out, bud! He's running away, guys. He ran away. He ran away. Okay, we're gonna make it to the top of the uh, the hill right there. Bro, I can't barely see what's in front of me. I'm not dropping the weapon for a moment. Come on, come on, come on. There's also sounds over there, but we just heard the siren head coming from our right. Listen for any sounds out of the ordinary, guys. We gotta. Going to here, He's coming again. Listen, yeah, big footed demon. Wait until we see him, guys, and take the shot. He's coming in front of his. Got him. Go on, run away, bud. That's it. Go cry to mama. If there is a second one, I really hope not, though. What's the screaming? Bro, what's that sound? I don't get it. I don't understand. Do I go this way? Something sounds really close. Whoa, okay. Let me walk this way a bit. That sounds sketch as freak. Do I go into the open a bit more? We've made it back on the trail, guys. That's good! He's coming in front, he's coming in front. Fortunately, this thing's got a lot of ammo packed with it. Thank goodness. Okay, here he is. Okay, now he backs up. It's one shot! And he runs home. Should we run too? They actually give him, like, a voice and everything, man. What is that? Why is there more than one thing here? I don't understand. So we've made it. Wait, what the freak is this? Oh my gosh, Sarah, is that you? I mean, it was. Go get in the basement. I'm sorry, Sarah. Flashlight out. Whoa, do we turn this? Oh. Now I just need to get back to the tower and call for help. Completed. Okay. Officials have said after a month of searching, the kids can't be found. It is ruled out that one of the friends, Freddy Anderson, 
lured them out to the forest because he felt like they were holding him back in high school. Whoa! That's right, Freddy. We all know what you did. We Dude. will come for you. You know, this is giving me like PT vibes. You guys getting that too? So, we now gotta make our way all the way back. What's that drone though? What is that? It's so consistent, right? I felt like things are about to change up, guys. I don't like this. I'm genuinely scared to move, guys. Every small movement is just freaking me out. So that's our objective. We could get a straight path. Is that getting louder? You know, I'm... I still don't know what that is. Still don't know what that is. Let's get back on the trail. What the freak? Dude, am I hallucinating? Like, what's real in this situation? You know what I'm saying? This is too quiet. Your siren head, stomp your feet or do something, right? Please. Give me a hint that you're nearby, even if you are watching me. I just want to know exactly where you're at. There's a screaming over there. Nope. Ignore that. I don't know what the whole trap situation was. I don't see him, at least in the dark here. Then again, I can't see anything. What the f- I don't know what that sound is. Like, is he watching us or something? I can barely move, dude. Come on, come on. You've just got to climb up here. Come on, up the hill. There's the siren. There it is. There it is. That's an air raid siren, too. The trail is right in front. If we get on the trail, we should be all right. At least, well, at least we can see around us. Back on the trail. Good, good, good. All right, we have light. And we actually have some spaces where we can run between. Let's go, dude. Run. Run. Don't look behind. Just get back in the tower. Woo! Man, that feels good. I feel like I'm really safe now. I hear the siren. Oh, it's in the distance right there. Hold up. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hello, this is Officer Kirkland. I hear you loud and clear. You will be giving instructions on how to get to safety. Okay. This is the old ranger station radio please. so we know where you are. Good! We will be dispatching officers as soon as we can, but uh -huh. as you know, we can't get into that area very easily, so you'll have to do some legwork yourself. Oh, great. There is a bridge near you, down the road a ways. We can't get our cruisers past that point, so you will have to meet us there. Wait, where's Once you make it there, we will bring you home. Alright. Over and out. Okay, so I Wait, just need to get across the bridge. He thinks he can save his friends. Wait. Get a load of this guy. Dude. If I were him, I would just lay down on okay. my back and wait. What? Wait for what you say? Bro, yeah. Talk. Do it and you will find out. That's why we don't do it. Press it. You can literally just give up. It, the game gives you the option to give up. So in this universe, is Siren Head also kind of like this mental thing where it uses or plays sounds to almost convince you on what you should actually do or try and break your psyche. It feels like that's what's happening here. Guys, I think that's what Siren Head does in this universe. It's more than just, you know, what we expect from Siren Head. He's actually doing this with an objective. He's doing the run thing again. You know, that's actually decent, where is he? Let's get eyes on, dude. Take the shot and get out of here. Here he comes, dude, look. Get the heck out of here, bud. Get bleed out. I don't give a... Okay, so I think that's Siren Head doing that. Look how dark it is, dude. I refuse to use the flashlight, guys. I refuse. No, I'll rely on my sound. Look, take the shot. Wait, I'm this! Just take a rapid fire. The freak away. I'm out of ammo. Dude, I gotta run. I'm completely out of ammo. Don't look back! We gotta run for the bridge, dude! I wasted the ammo! He's coming! He's coming! There's nothing I can do, guys! Just keep running, keep running. I'm out of sprint! Bro. I got no ammo! He's got me! God damn it, dude. <laughs> Guys, we're back at the end game again. We ain't giving up. Now, I wonder if we're Freddy in this game, though. It's starting to make more sense. Like, all these messages being told to us. Here we go. We descend down. That's where it gets dark, dude. We're on a path here, dude. Here we go. Okay, this is better than last time. Right? Just keep walking slowly. We got the gun, and we're ready to use it whenever we need. Just remember that. It's about to take us off road, guys. So much for being on the path, right? Or is it best we stay on the trail and kind of wind round? Maybe we should. That's probably going to be best because, like, these trees look like they're collapsing, dude. Wait, hold up. It's coming to, like, a creek? That's really good. Okay, one last look behind us. The park looks quiet. See you later, suckers! Jesus, did that creature do this? How the heck am I supposed to- Bro. It's a factory. Wait, we have to go back now to a factory? All right, you know what? We've been walking so slow. Let's get a move on. Find this factory. Here we go. I did take a note of this kind of point that splits off here into the darkness, guys. This is the factory? Okay. It's very quiet. It seems like Siren Head's gone like, bye-bye. What the freak's he doing today? Guys, I don't care. Almost over. The officer said it's this way. Wait, what? Oh, there's an alternate path out of here? Is that what he meant? I thought he was talking about, we've got to start doing some Minecraft building, build our bridge up, and then we get out. Fortunately not. What? 
I'm almost free. I just gotta keep following this path. Get the gun back up, dude! Why has he dropped the gun for? What the freak's he doing? Uh, I can't get the gun out. You are kidding me. I guess he's maybe worried about being shot himself. All right, we'll walk the path then. Uh, I still feel like you should be ready. Up until we see the rangers, then we could just throw it aside, prove to them that we ain't about to pull no funny bull crap. This guy could still be stalking us down, and if he is, we got nothing as a means to defend ourselves now. All right, guys, we're back on a trail here. Okay, I'm still being wary. I don't know if... What's the sound? Dude, run! I'm completely stuck! Wait. <laughs> He'd already taken out the police cars and knew exactly how to get us. He knew that we was going to it. It was his law this whole time. Guys, this is what makes you think in this version, the siren head kind of dips into your psyche and kind of, it pulls from what you almost want to believe or what you've heard in the past. What about if that police car had been there for a while and then the siren head himself almost made it that we would hear these messages about rescue and then be lured to it. And of course he's going to pounce on us. Look at that, it takes you back to the menu. That's the ending to the game in theory. I actually really enjoyed this game based on how it was trying to deliver or portray the siren head. It was turning him into more than just this like creepy thing you see in the street making sounds. It kind of gave him a bit more of a personality and it made all of his kind of like horror traits a bit more personal to the character. You know, this whole experience felt related to our character. It's like maybe we were drawn back here again to re-experience something we did. There was all this talk about this guy called Freddy. It mentioned his friends being lost and they were avid hunters. Then we went ahead and like found a, a sniper rifle. I don't know, maybe it could be relating to that somehow, but I'm really unsure. All right, guys, I just played back to this point here where we have the option to give up. You know what? We're gonna go down to the ground level, and we are gonna give up, guys. This seems like the second ending. We stand here. Give up. Wait. Yo, we literally lay down. Is it there? I can't even see it. Well, we've basically submitted ourselves to this thing, right? What is happening? I'm laying down. Um, it's getting louder, this beeping. Uh, guys, I don't see it, bro. It's right there. Look at it. It's not even, it's not doing anything. It's like, this is the trap, right? I've laid down. Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it like crawls and attacks you. This is that perma game over too. I can't do anything, guys. It's kept me at the game over screen, like. That's it, you made your choice, live with it. Well, that was a very cool game, a nice look into the Siren Head lore. It's also nice to see this personal interpretation of Siren Head. I don't know if this is more of an official one. I personally haven't done too much research into the concept past that point, but either way, it was nice to experience this game and I hope you guys did enjoy too. So let's just recap, what did we learn today? We learned not to go camping on your own in the dead of night when there's a thick fog and also, if you hear a siren, start running because you're dead.